Space is one place that humans will never fully explore. Scientists have said it's likely that we'll travel within our solar system, but anything beyond that poses much more complex problems. Some scientists and researchers have said the human brain can't comprehend the size of the universe and everything that's contained within it, and that there's just some things that we as humans will never fully understand. It's only been in the last few decades that we've made big strides in terms of space exploration. We are currently living in an exciting time. Space agencies are creating more sophisticated rockets. They are gearing up to send humans to the Red Planet. They are discovering more galaxies and planets than ever. And we've even detected signs of water on some of these solar bodies. However, due to the vast amounts of photographs that have been taken from spacecrafts, some amateur researchers have spent countless hours looking through these in the hopes of finding something strange. One of these individuals is that of Scott Waring, a vocal UFO researcher who constantly looks through old NASA images in the hopes of finding something that looks out of place. And that's exactly what happened when he discovered an anomaly in an old Apollo 15 image. He said the following about the discovery. When looking over Apollo 15 images, I came across a photo that has a mothership in it. It's not a cloud. Clouds do not exist on the moon. So I enlarged the photo and saw it wasn't just a ship. It looked very like the Starship Voyager from Star Trek. End quote. He goes on to claim that the ship in question is over 10.6 kilometers or 6.5 miles in diameter. Other amateur researchers have come forward in recent years and claim to have found similar looking objects in old photographs. And they say that this proves that there's more going on than what we're being told about. And in some cases, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration is even editing out these images in the hopes that we won't see them. Amateur researchers say they do this because they think if the majority of the population find out about these things, they would just panic. NASA have come forward in recent years and have said that these claims cannot be backed up, and that they've never airbrushed or tried to hide anomalies in their photographs. Amateur researchers have said though that if you spend long enough, you can find them yourself. However, as some have said, if this was a genuine craft, NASA would have just deleted the images, and to this day, they can still be found on various websites. NASA have said though that it's their job to find these kinds of discoveries and help push us forward, and in all the years of searching, they have never found anything of interest or that can't be explained, and go on to say that every single UFO photo can be explained as space dust. There's some who have said that will never understand the mysteries of the universe. Why are we here? Is a question many have asked but no one knows the answer to. Life itself is a mystery. Two leading scientists have come forward and said that the human brain is a biological computer, and that the consciousness of a human being is a program that runs by the brain's computer. It's believed that within the human brain there resides around 86 billion brain cells. The soul is something that has made many people put forward different theories. There's always been debate about the soul of a human and whether or not it goes on after life. There are those that believe your soul is what's actually keeping you alive, while others suggest that the soul is nothing. However, recently researchers think they've found a new truth about the soul. They've put forward the theory that the soul doesn't die, it goes back into the universe. Dr. Stuart Hamroff, who is a physicist, and Sarah Roger Penrose, a mathematical physicist at Oxford University, have been working on the quantum theory of consciousness. Both of them suggest that the soul of a person is in the microtubules of the brain cells. Their theory states that human being's soul is contained within the cells of the brain in structures that are inside them called microtubules. It sounds confusing, but the doctors think the human brain is just a biological computer and the consciousness we experience is run by the computer inside the brain. This means it will continue to exist after the human is gone. Both of them suggest that what humans think of consciousness is the result of the effect of the quantum gravity that is situated in the microtubules. 
The doctors said that when the heart of a person stops beating, the blood then starts flowing around the body. In turn, the microtubules inside the brain begin to lose the quantum state. However, the quantum information that's in these microtubules does not get destroyed. Instead, it gets distributed into the universe. This could mean that after death, our memories will enter the universe and carry on. Scientists have stated that humans may never be able to understand the universe. No one truly knows what happens when we pass. Many theories have been put forward, but we will only know the truth when we experience it. Humans have a natural fear of this, and this may be due to the fact that we associate it with pain. But if this theory is correct, it could mean that life on Earth is just the beginning. So how do the 100 trillion neural connections in our brains work together to create the feeling of being alive? Many great thinkers consider consciousness to be the biggest mystery not just of the human body, but the biggest ever. Any single brain, including yours, is made up of atoms that were forged in the hearts of countless far-flung stars billions of years ago. These particles drifted for eons and light years until gravity and chance brought them together. These atoms now form your brain that can not only ponder the very stars that gave it birth, but can also think about its own ability to think and wonder about its own ability to wonder. With the arrival of humans, it's been said the universe has suddenly become conscious of itself. This truly is the greatest mystery of all. So what do you make of this Apollo 15 photograph? Do you think it shows something there, or is it just a case of pareidolia? Also, what do you make of consciousness? And what do you think happens to us after we pass on? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.